Yeah. Uh, and so, so tell us about, uh, we've, uh, I probably should, should, uh, should have asked about more about dogs. So tell us about the hunting you do with dogs and how you hunt, you hunt both deer and boar with dogs. Yeah. So, um, I guess, uh, like I was saying about the Nihonkan being a bit of a versatile breed, you can technically hunt probably whatever you want. Um, there's, uh, out of those six breeds, like I originally started hunting with the Kaikan, which is like a brindle. They're all brindle dogs, this, this breed, the Kaikan. They're from the mountains uh, north of Tokyo, northwest. Um, and they are actually pretty good bird dogs. Um, I sent one to a friend who was an upland hunter in the U.S., and he actually trained it to uh, hunt upland, you know, like grouse and pheasant, things like that. It would retrieve to hand, and he actually had it mm -hmm. doing water retrieves and things like this as well. Um, so they're quite versatile. What I actually do with them is I'm mostly for the past, uh, 15 odd years, um, uh, plus years that I've been hunting, I'm basically a boar hunter. We hunt wild boar and I use, um, I try, I started hunting with the Kaiken and then I moved from there into the Kishuken, which is another breed from the Ki Peninsula, which is a little bit further Southwest in Japan from Tokyo. And then from the Kishu, I moved on to where now I have Kishu and Shikoku, which are from even further southwest of this big island called Shikoku. And they're like these mountainous dogs from that region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say they're particularly beautiful dogs. And if we were hunting them here, I think we'd have less of a problem with the animal rights people because they'd be so distracted by how cute the dogs are. They don't even, it, it's unbelievable <laughs> that they're these gritty, tough dogs. Uh, so... You were you at any point hunting uh, deer and boar with the same dogs, or were you keeping separate packs when you were doing that? Well, um, you can, uh, but uh, like probably any big game hunter that's hunted uh, boar or deer could probably tell you, um, if you allow your dogs to run deer, um, it can be quite a, quite a problem if you're trying to hunt boar because the deer will run a lot further. And, um, you know, a lot of your hunting is just going to be waiting for your dogs to come back. Um, and in that sense, the Japanese breeds, the Nihonken, hunt quite well in that they're very close ranging. And they have, they're not like hounds where you won't see them for three days after they're on a trail. They're mm -hmm. very hot-nosed dogs. They're going to be back, like my dogs, for instance, even if they were to run on a deer, they'd be back within like 20 minutes. So it's not the end of the world. Um but um, I prefer that my dogs are boar specialists and hunt boar. So uh, generally, uh, dogs that I'm hunting boar with, I won't allow them. I'll, I'll trash break them when they're very young and will not let them run deer. Do you guys use uh, e-collars? Um, I'm sure that there are some people that do, um, but no one that I know, none of the hunters around me actually uses e-collars. I've never used them either, so... Yeah, I don't have so any experience with e-collars. They're not at a distance where you, they're generally close enough that you're not concerned about losing them. or. Yeah, um, I think that, uh, well, let's see. Um, you're not, when I say trash broken, like I've, uh, I've uh, been in Australia as well, and, and I've seen and experienced the hunting there. And when, uh, for instance, with the, you know, the bull grays and stuff like that, that we have out there, when you say their trash broke, you know, they could see a kangaroo running in front of them and they're not going to run after it. Mm -hmm. Um, the Japanese breeds being a much more primitive type breed, they will, that switch will kick in. Mm -hmm. Um, but for instance, my dogs, uh, someone remarked on that when I took them hunting with me and I had a, one of my Kishu females that I use quite a bit now. And we had a, uh, a little herd of deer, you know, about six, seven deer came popping up onto the ridge. And my, our kishu was right in front of me. And first, I wasn't sure what was coming out. So I was ready to shoot. The deer got up to the ridge and ran away from us. And my kishu female looked, ran about 50 meters, realized they were deer, just turned around and came back, you know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I didn't have to do an e-call or anything like that. She just knows that we're not after deer. And if she chases the deer, she's not going to catch them. They're going to get away. It's a waste of her energy, and we're we're hunting boar. Boar are what we want. Boar are funner to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so, describe the process for uh, hunting boar. You're running how many dogs? What's the style? How do the dogs hunt? I think a lot of American hunters who hunt pigs are probably more familiar with how they hunt in Australia with maybe running catch dogs or just a 
or bay dogs and catch dogs with uh, specific roles. But from the little we've talked, I think you're doing it a little differently. Um, yeah, so I would say that um, there are a lot of different styles of uh, hunting wild boar here in Japan with dogs. And there's definitely some hunters that are uh, more into catch dogs. Um, and there's some that will hunt with uh, these Nihonken, you know, uh, Japanese dog style dogs, and they'll hunt a pack. And I've seen packs of up to like 10 dogs run. And um, that's one way of doing it. Um, I think that, um, uh, okay, the, the way I was uh, taught by some of the, the really famous old timers here in Japan, as far as boar dog hunting goes, is that um, if you're hunting uh, wild boar and you have a dog, if uh, the dogs and the boar are equal in weight, say you've got a 60 kilo boar that you're hunting, and the Nihonken, you know, it's generally about a 20 kilo dog, let's say a male. So if you're hunting a, one boar and you've got three dogs on it and they manage to stop it for you and you get it, that's kind of like, okay, they've passed the first level as far as a hunting dog goes, but that's nothing special. They should be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got that 60 kilo boar and you've managed to do that with two dogs, so they're actually, um, you know, if we're talking weight classes, they're, you know, out, outweighed, outclassed. They're at 40 kilos. That's that's like, okay, you've got something better than your average hunting dog there. Your pack's doing pretty good with two dogs. If you can do that with one dog, where one 20-kilo dog can be full-on stopping a 60-kilo boar well and do it safely without getting injured, that is what we would call here in Japan like a meiken, which is like a, essentially, I guess it would translate to like a famous dog, but like a legendary dog, essentially. Mm -hmm. So this is considered by hunters who respect the traditional hunting style of hunting game and wild boar here in Japan, that's probably considered the pinnacle of hunting is to be able to successfully hunt wild boar with one dog and one hunter. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, I assume that if it's one dog on a 60 kilo boar, is that dog mostly baying or are they sort of selectively catching and baying? Um, they are selectively catching and bang. I'll get, um, a lot of questions about that as well. I'm um, asking if the Japanese breeds are bay dogs or are they catch dogs? And, um, they ver it varies by the individual and you can, obviously you can, hunters will breed towards what they prefer. Um, but mostly what, uh, the Japanese breeds still have intact is they still have a very good, uh, survival kind of uh, mindset mechanism in their brain when they're hunting dangerous game. They will learn uh, through every single hunting experience that you put them into. They will learn how to hunt better. They'll pick up new tricks, and uh, mostly they're a bit, they're definitely grittier than a bay dog, but they're not dedicated catch dogs. Now, you can breed them to be dedicated catch dogs, and I've seen it. Um, but if you're going to do that, I would say go with a catch breed, you know, like a breed that mm -hmm. catches um, that's already been selected for that, that's got a bit more weight. Um, to mm -hmm. hold the boar because I've seen Kishu. Um, there's the the dog that my line are actually kind of from originally it was this uh, very famous uh, Kishu hunting line in Japan called the Hosoda line, and these dogs were gritty as they come. Like they saw a boar, they were flying on it, they were hanging off the mm -hmm. ear, they're getting flung in the air, spun around, and they're just going for it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're going to be doing that, you probably want, like uh, what I've said in Australia, the way we hunt with bull greys and things like that. You get a catch dog, it's a larger dog, it's actually going to hold the boar there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right dog for the right job. Uh, why take these versatile yeah. dogs and specialize them when you could get a specialized dog? It sounds like uh, 